Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an issue where the package could not be registered error in the Windows 10 Photos app. So if you come across this problem, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Type in Troubleshoot. Best match to come back with Troubleshoot Settings. You want to just go ahead and left-click to open that up. Scroll down on the right side underneath Get Up and Running. Find and fix other problems. Continue to scroll down and select Windows Store Apps. Troubleshoot problems that may prevent Windows Store apps from working properly. And then left click on Run the Troubleshooter. I recommend following along with whatever it suggests on the screen here, and then just follow that by selecting Next. So if it asks you to sign in with a Microsoft account, make sure you are using a Microsoft account to sign into your Windows computer. If you're still having a problem, you can go back to the Home tab, just left click on that, select the Apps tile now, and now in Search the List, type in Photos. Best match to go back on Microsoft Photos, left click on that, and then select Advanced Options. Underneath Reset, if this app isn't working right, we can try to repair it. If this app isn't working right, we can try to repair it. This app's data won't be affected. Left click on Repair. Give it a moment here. Hopefully that should have been able to resolve the problem. If not, you're still having a problem, select the Reset option where it says right above it. If the app still isn't working right, reset it. This app will be reinstalled and revert to its default settings. Your documents will not be affected. Left click on reset. This will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign in details. Left click on reset. And once that's done, again, try and open up the Microsoft Photo app or whatever photos you're having a problem with. And again, hopefully it's been able to resolve the problem. If not, another thing you try would open up the Start menu, type in Windows PowerShell. Best match to come back with Windows PowerShell. You want to right click on that and then left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on Yes. Now into this elevated Windows PowerShell window, you want to copy the first command I have in the description of my video. So it should start with a get minus sign AppX package. And then go up to the top bar of the Windows PowerShell window here. Right click on it. Left click on Edit and then left click on Paste to paste it in. and then just hit enter. Don't worry, there's a little bit of red, it's not the end of the world. And then once that's done, hopefully that should have been able to address the problem. If not, another thing you try would be to open up the store menu, type in CMD, best match to come back with command prompt, right click on that, and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. Now I'm going to have another command in the description of the video right underneath that first PowerShell command. So go ahead and copy that and then go up to the top bar of this command prompt, right click on it, left click on edit and then paste it in. Hit enter on your keyboard.
Okay, so once you have a blinking cursor, you're ready to run the second command here. So it's going to be an SFC space forward slash scan now. I'm going to paste that in here. You can also just type it in. I should have it on the screen in the video as well. So again, SFC space forward slash scan now. And then just hit enter. So this will take a couple minutes to run as well. So please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, if it was able to find anything, I would suggest restarting your computer, and hopefully that has been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Dibbo is able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.